My mom is Danette first, an incredible, gentle spirit who taught me everything I know. That's who my mom is. My mom is Dorian E. Miller. My mom is Marilyn Dressler. My mom is Christian Gilmore Pine. You know, I feel like there's not too many people you come across in the world that like every moment you have together is just like intrinsically beautiful. She is an amazing woman, the most stubborn, uh, strongest woman I've ever met. She really pushed me. She really. She really uh, motivated me to do all these things. She helped me. She can make everybody her friend, kind of. Uh, I think that's something that she gave to me. I know a lot of people like in this world, like they hold grudges. She had an incredible ability to forgive. My mother died of pneumonia. I remember seeing my father cry for the first time, but other than that, I don't really remember much outside of home videos. My mom got really sick when I was really young. They missed the lump in one of her breasts and the lump spread to her second breast, hit her lymph node, stomach, back, and brain. And they only gave her six weeks to live. Uh, and I was a sophomore in high school at the time. My mom was diagnosed with a rare form of breast cancer. And in September of 2014, she passed away. I didn't really know how cancer was gonna work. I didn't know how quickly it would act. She passed on May 1st. Uh, we buried her May 3rd. My birthday is May 5th. I graduated on Mother's Day, May 9th. It's one thing to like lose a parent, you know. Um, it's also like another thing to lose a best friend. I think that it's, it's not something you ever really get over, you know. You just learn to understand what it means. I just learned to love harder. I lived in fear for many, many years of my life. She was, she was sick for eight years before she finally passed away. Every morning I would go to school, not sure if she'd be there when I got home. She was such a good person that, that, that would listen and just give eloquent and intelligent and, and thoughtful responses and, care, and caring responses. I used to have to like do those science fair projects that everybody has to do with like the poster board and everything like that. And my mom would like get more excited about the project than I would. So like I would stay up all night long putting together what I thought was an incredible project and I would wake up and like the poster board would be completely different. <laughs> it would be like cut out and like tricked out and it'd be like 3D and all of this stuff. And we would just have this moment where I would just like look at her and she would look at me. And I remember coming home with the first place medal. And I was just like, mom, we did it. And she was like, yeah, we did that. The day after she had this brain operation, um, I wrote this paper and it was garbage. And she took it and she revamped the whole thing. And when I got it, I, I was like, I, this doesn't even sound like I wrote this. I don't know if I can submit this. She's like, it'll be fine, just, just submit it. And I got the paper back the next day and I got a B plus. And she was so pissed because she didn't get an A. And that's the type of person she was. As I grow older and realize more how my mom kept it together for us and how long she fought to stay alive, to be around for her children. That's, that's who my mom is. I find myself talking to my mom at least once, twice a day. Certain times I talk less, certain times we talk more. You know, it really depends on how bad of a day I'm having. I say hi to her every day. Um, sometimes out loud, sometimes not. I felt like intrinsically, like she became my Argonaut, like she gave her life to be a protector for me. Um, and so I got this tattoo that says Argo, um, and I got it in all lowercase because she was an extremely humble person, but I got it in bold because her presence was felt wherever she went. And I got it on my forearm because I wanted to wear her bravery on my sleeve. Mom, I just want to say I love you and thank you for everything you've instilled in me. Even though she's not physically here, my mom is still very much a part of me and who I am every day. Thank you for everything. Thank you for your sacrifices and everything you did for me, for Seth, for Emmett. Um, I hope we made you proud. Everything that we've done is because of you. Everything we've wanted to do, everything we've driven for is because of you. Mom, I love you so much and 
I miss you every day and I still think about you every day. Even though I only had it for a limited amount of time, I feel so lucky to have the bond that I did with my mother. We used to have this thing where like, we would never say goodbye. So it's not goodbye. It's just see you later. And uh, I'm okay. We're okay. I love you.